Hi guys and welcome back to the CTFC Perspective. That is right, another week, another game, another vlog. Today's view, we are going back to Chelsea to watch Chelsea versus Aston Villa, the first game back since international break. A few Chelsea players have had excellent international breaks. Mason Mount getting that assist for England, Romelu Lukaku, Timo Werner bagging goals, and another, just another whole load of players for Chelsea playing absolutely excellent international break. There's a few clubs who are having questionable international breaks, a bit like Aston and Villa with the Argentinian and the Brazilian and all those teams not allowing players back. So team players like Emmy Martinez, Buendia, all of that, probably not going to start for Aston Villa unless they want to take a caution from the national teams. Not really sure how it works. But yeah, that definitely does work in Chelsea's advantage in their favour. But my, to start the video, I will say Chelsea will win 2-0. I'm quite confident. We've got a good team, good goalkeeper, good record. And obviously the style of play is amazing the last time we played Aston Villa it didn't necessarily go our way but yeah I'm hoping for a win and uh, just train is just about to come so let's get into the montage before we do get into the video if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so you know when a video goes live we're so close to a thousand subscribers now only 400 away and thank you to every single one of you who has subscribed so far if you have any questions or queries drop it down in the comment section and i'll try and answer every single one of them but without further ado let's get into the video Okay, so we just got off the train, just got to Paddington, three and a half hours before kickoff. Just gonna get a drink and some food now before the game. My heart still says 2-0, we yet to see the lineups yet, obviously, but Dad, what do you think? 2-1. Any goal scorers? Lukaku. <laughs> I, I think Lukaku will get one, and I think we possibly could get a penalty. Obviously, Jorginho redeeming himself from his miss in Italy. I hope he starts, because, well, I really wanted to get that award today. I really do hope Lukaku does score and I hope he gets a good reception as it is his return to Stamford Bridge and so many more exciting things to come. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. If you got to this part of the video, leave a comment what your score prediction was before the game. And yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Not that long until kickoff now, just made it to the ground, Fulham Broadway. Just gone to the guy outside the ground, he's, I was going to pay for an air freshener, and he's given it for me for free. So that's my car sorted, another bit added to this day, it's been a great day so far, come on boys. Just made it to my seat, just made it into the stadium and the view is a lot more impressive than I first thought. Never actually been up the stairs in Stamford Bridge. The lineups are as follows. Going into the Stamford Bridge, I was actually quite shocked to walk past Al Mohamedi. He was with a security guard, so sadly I couldn't get an image. But yeah, it's nice to bump into a famous face. I'm quite confident about the Lions being out. A few different changes. Sound against making his debut. Romelu Lukaku making his home debut for the second run to Chelsea. And yeah, I'm quite confident to obviously have some better across the players' plan. Uh, not that many fans really at the moment. It's still an hour until kickoff, but let's hope it's a good atmosphere like it always is at the bridge. Come on. Just found out that Marcus Alonso is a captain inside side tonight. It's a bit of an awkward one, but then again, the captain figures are not in the starting lineup, but he's an experienced head, he's in good form. So, yeah, hopefully, as long as he doesn't put in a performance like he used to do when he actually played left back, this should be a successful evening for the Blues. Five minutes go before kickoff. Stamford Bridge is quite quiet at the moment. The Aston Villa fans are static and loud, as you would expect for the Aston Villa boys. But yeah, five minutes go through kickoff. Hopefully, the place live and sun sometime soon.
was screaming. Screw ball, I didn't think looked like it would make it. He showed a bit of pace. Sadly defended down and put it through the keeper's legs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Chelsea, they have a corner with Callum and Sadoy, and it seemed like it bounced off the line. I'm still unsure, I haven't seen a proper replay, but I've made the whole stadium went before it was in. But yeah, let's get into the second. Half. I suggested at half time, Jorginho is on for Saul, hopefully, he can mix up in the middle.
some sing a song for the sun and rain. Cause Chelsea, Chelsea is that is it then guys. Sadly I did think we were top of the league, but we're not because Manchester United have scored more goals. We find ourselves equal on 10 points top of the league. Ronald Lukaku, two goals. What a performance. I say my man of the match would be Mendy. What an amazing group of saves. But Lukaku is up there with the goals. Kovacic played amazingly, run from deep and the dink. Jorginho when he come on, emphatic performance. We had the defenders obviously keeping the clean sheets. Massive shout out to Thiago Silva. Clear his age and people said he was passing, coming into the league and making our defence 10 times better. What a performance. We're going to try and get his as soon as possible. What more can you ask for? A 3-0 win, a clean sheet and basically being top of the league. Considering you're coming against teams like Cristiano Ronaldo. Granted, Aston Villa weren't their strongest lineup today because of players such as Emi Martinez who possibly could have saved a few of those, but what a strike from Lukaku. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. If you did enjoy the video, if you wouldn't mind, smash that like button to help share the video around. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a single video. If you have any questions or queries, please drop it down into the comment section below. I'll try and answer every single one of them. Like we always do in every single vlog lately, there will be a montage to end the video, but on the end screen, there'll be two videos just like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.